Good afternoon. We are currently standing outside Reed Hall, which we're touring today right now. Um, so I hope that you came prepared with questions. You can type that into the comments box below. Happy um, to get your questions. Happy to get your questions. Now, who are you? My name is Molly Strickland. I'm a student here at the University of Arkansas. I'm about to go into my junior year of advertising and public relations. So, yeah, just Very nice. the intern for housing. So yes, it's yes. awesome. And where so, did you live? I lived in Yoakum. Okay. I lived in Yoakum because it was center of campus, but after coming inside Reed Hall, I'm kind of mad at myself. Reed's a pretty nice place. Reed is really nice. Y'all yeah. are going to love it. So, kind um, of tell us where we are. So, we are on the back side of Reed. So, this mm -hmm. is not the main entrance. We'll show you that um, in a second. So, we're on the back side just to show you the location. South side, I think the south, south side. side yeah. um, so, right here, we're going to have the Epley Center, mm -hmm. which is the nursing building. Um, right. I know nursing is really big on this campus. So, that's like your life right there. Mm -hmm. And of course, we have the stadium, which is currently being under, under construction, aka the cranes. Those cranes are gigantic. They are massive. They're putting They're in huge. a jumbotron and like all these boxes. Um, and then right here is the Tyson building, which is your agriculture kind of building. Um, there are some other classes in there, like some science classes. Mm -hmm. And then right here is going to be Maple. The Maple. All the Maple. Yes. So maple just, West, I think, is that one right there. Never eat soggy waffles. Yes, West. Yes, West. Okay. Uh -huh. So, yeah, we were just going to kind of show you the outside, and we're going to head all in. Yeah, we have a lot of people tuning in already. So, hey, let us know where you're from, where you're tuning in from to watch. And as always, we're ready to hear your questions. Uh, ooh, why don't we give an overview of what we're going to do? We're going to explore the first floor first and then head upstairs. Yeah, so we're going to explore all down here um, something we just got fobbed in. So the big thing about Reed is you have to fob in to a lot of things. So the door you'll have to fob into every single time, that's going to be connected to your keys that you get when you move in here. Um, so if your friends ever come and they're not living in Reed, you need to come downstairs and fob them in. Absolutely. So right here is just our front desk. Uh -huh. um, hey, say hello to Jill from Springdale. Hi, Jill from Springdale. And Kirsten James. Kirsten James from Rogers. Uh -huh. Hello, Kirsten. She says, hey, Molly. <laughs> She's my girl. And then Channing from Armarillo. That's always Armarillo. nice. Great. So we're going to check out the first floor, and then we're yes. going to go upstairs and see the rooms and the uh, bathroom Bathrooms. as well. Yes. And uh, Kelsey is from Kansas. She says hello. Hello, Kelsey yeah. from Kansas. Um, so this is our front desk right here. Mm -hmm. um, this is where you're going to come for some things that Meredith is going to talk to you right, about. Right, Meredith. Hey, oh. Meredith. How are you? Hi, I'm good. My name is Meredith. I'm the coordinator for residence education here in Reed. So Fantastic. the front desk is kind of your main point for communication. It's where you'll get your mail. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll get packages if you have questions or anything. The Reed desk is staffed 24 hours a day, so there's always, always. a way. Yep, always somebody here for you. Um, Sometimes the RAs will work the desk, but you can always also call your RA on duty. Fantastic. Too. And you said you're a CRE. Can you take a moment to explain to us what that means? Yeah. So I am a full-time professional. I live in the building here, so I oversee the daily operations of mm -hmm. Reed, and then I oversee the RAs. Reed has 16 RAs that I supervise directly and work with them. Uh, I do any sort of student care situation. I do student conduct situations and basically anything that happens within the walls of these buildings I generally have some sort of um, involvement you in. You do indeed. So, okay, fantastic. Yeah. A couple other shout outs that came through. Let me say hello to uh, Shelby from Little Rock and Hi, Kiana Shelby. from Dallas. Little Rock. And <laughs> Madison from Austin. Glad, uh, glad you're all tuning in here. Okay, so we got the uh, water thing right there. Can you explain to us yeah, something about that? Yeah, so this is kind of your old school water bottle, mm -hmm. or uh, drinking fountain, but this is a water bottle water yeah. uh, filler water bottle. and people love this because it just makes it real easy to get some water right you don't have to put your mouth on that thing and like <laughs> yeah. drink from it you can just yeah. put your bottle right there just, yeah you don't even need to buy water bottles you can just refill there yeah. i bought bo water bottles at the beginning of the year and i was like this is so this is such a waste of money when i can just refill it um so, so buy one good water bottle and just refill good, it over and over yeah just go to tj maxx they're like six bucks <laughs> um this is your mail right here you will get an email through your uarc email account which is about to become your life so you might as well just start checking it now um, download the app on your phone you know you can access it so you'll get mm -hmm. an email where you and your roommate were will share a mailbox and they'll have a code that's sent to you and that will be your code to your mailbox so my grandma sent me some stuff 
I got money on my birthday. It's really nice. So make sure people are sending you letters because that birthday money though. The birthday yeah. money. I got fifty bucks. Wow. Okay. Packages will come to the desk and then you'll pick up your yes. mail here, right? Is that yes. how it works? And you can. Yeah. There's okay. a little outgoing mail right there. So I did send oh, okay. some letters. Okay. You can actually send things home too. Yeah. Yeah. So parents who are tuning in, it's possible to send letters home too. Send your parents birthday money. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> <Awesome. laughs> Um, so right here, we're going to have some vending machines. You can get some nice drinks over here, mm -hmm. and then that side is going to be the food. This is not included in your fee, so this is going to be out of pocket. Um, you can pay using cash, using card, or using Apple Pay, which Man. you can do with your watch if you just like scan it up there. I'd show you, but I'm broke right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what else do we have here on Reed First Floor? Yeah, so right here is going to be, there's two kitchenettes, so this is like a mini kitchen there. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to have, just right here you have a stove if you ever wanted to cook anything. Those utensils you don't need to bring, you can check out at the desk. Mm -hmm. So don't worry about bringing any of that, and we're going to have to be fogged in. Okay. So this is one of the good security features about Reed is um, you have to be fogged in to everywhere, basically. Yes, so always have your fog available. Yes. So, so there's a ton of spaces here in Reed, like just hang out and stuff. A ton of lounging spaces. So it's amazing. You have some seats right here. Y'all can have movie night in here where you can rent some DVDs mm -hmm. from the front desk, or you can always go buy your own. Um, and then you have just a nice little couch right here because sure. sometimes it's nice to get away from doing homework, kind of relax because it can be very, very stressful. So you can do what? Unwind. It's very, very, very stressful. Very stressful. <laughs> You uh, will cry a lot this year. <laughs> <laughs> no. Laurie uh, is from Plano and Hi. Dana is from Houston. So glad to have you tune in. Yeah, welcome Excellent. to the University of Arkansas and Reed Hall. Yes, indeed. So what else do we have to see? We have a lot to see. So here right, on the first floor is a time. Yeah, just we're just on floor one. Mm -hmm. So right here, which you have to be fobbed in again. Yes, yes. Um, is going to be your little workout room. So <laughs> And it will, it will yell at you if you leave this door open too so long. So we will close so it before it starts to yell it. at us. Um, so this is just a little gym, which is nice. No other uh, hall offers this. Mm -hmm. um, there is the rec center that's inside the union, and then there's also just a regular U rec center, which uh -huh. is over there kind of towards the stadium. Yeah. So this is nice. We have some ellipticals. Um, we have treadmills. We do have weights. Um, we have free weights too. So... Just a good place if you're still trying to keep healthy and not gain that freshman 15, which I promise you, it's kind of hard to gain. I did not gain it at all. Um, <laughs> come in here, work out with your friends. Super nice. Um, yeah. And then actually right next door, mm -hmm. um, you'll have to access it by going outside though. If you ever needed anything, UAPD is right next door. So that's one of the cool things about Reed is there's so much protection in this hall. So there's a door right there, but you won't actually use that. You'll have to go around, like I said, but they're right there next door to you. So if you ever had any problems, I would yeah. go. It's yeah. right here in the same building. In fact, right I believe the there's some programming that happens mm -hmm. that sometimes includes the police department. Is that yeah. right? So yeah, so the UAPD, they have a couple different dogs and they mm -hmm. like to bring them, especially to read and sit at the front desk quite a bit. And then we invite them to a lot of the different programs that we have, partially because they're close, but then they like to be really involved in student life here. Fantastic. What are some of the programs that Reed is known for? Are there yeah. any particular events that will happen in the first few weeks that yeah, so those we are have, watching? Um, one of our first events is called Best Room in Reed, and it's kind of like a Reed open house, and we have snacks, and all the floors have a different snack, so you can kind of like a progressive thing. Nice. And, uh, there's different prizes for different rooms, most creative or uh, cutest, all kinds of different things. So that's a good one that we do. Uh, we do a recruitment breakfast, so mm -hmm. uh, if you're going through rec recruitment, it's an early morning, but we provide recruitment breakfast. Recruitment for like for Greek sororities. Life? Yeah, and, for sororities, yeah. sure. Uh, I'm trying to think of what other ones we do. Uh, it'll be up on Hogsync mm -hmm. soon, some of our scheduling, Okay. so you can see that there. Very so. good, very good, great. So you got this uh, wonderful facility to work out in where you don't even have to go. <laughs> what are do you doing? You got some tens right there? Yeah, I'm doing some workouts while we do this video. Okay, you know? okay. Stay, stay in fit. There we go. Stay in fit all, all the right. time. Well, let's continue to explore Reed Hall here yeah. on the first floor. And uh, so glad to have you tuning in as we take this tour. Yeah. So you can't, probably shouldn't at all walk through this hallway, but we're going to. We're going to we're gonna for take now. A yes. All right. Um, so yeah. This and is Meredith's, just, room, Meredith's office is right here to the right. We'll point that yeah, out. If you ever. So come, come visit her if you have questions. questions. And that's the front desk, of course. Mm -hmm. 
We will go this way. Yeah. So this is going to be kind of like another lounge area, eating area, the full kitchenette, and got to be bobbed in again. <laughs> so thank you. All right. Can we get the light in here? Yes. Right. You see it? Okay. Oh. Oh, nice. So here's kind of like dim. a cafe slash kitchen. I'm yeah, going to so, come over here and give a full pan of this place. Yeah. So this is just another kind of kitchen area. Um, you can come in here if you ever wanted to cook some food. Mm -hmm. Sorry, they're cleaning out the stove right now. They're cleaning the stove even Which as we speak. Which is good, you know. Yeah. Um, so you'll have our We want to point out this uh, desk, this uh, patio space back here too. Yes, well, we'll do that real quick. So, so on the nice, whenever it's fall, it becomes really nice here in the Ozark yeah. Mountains. So you can only enter through this door. There is another door out here, sure. but it's not actually real. So there's even just, more like walled patio space yes, here. Yes, good, nice wall patio space. Mm -hmm. um, just come out here. It's on a nice day. You can do some studying. Um, of course, there's that long full table on there. Yeah. You're going to have a stove, you're going to have a microwave, and you're going to have a toaster, which mm -hmm. is actually really cool, and of course a fridge. So Did you cook very much in the halls? I cooked some sugar cookies, uh -huh. and I cooked pizza. pizza. That was about it. Very nice. I mean, I used a microwave probably all the time, but mm -hmm. other than that, no. No, very good. But yeah, definitely use and it. Where would, you, where would be your hall where you would eat um, if you live on this side of campus? The closest dining hall for y'all is going to be the Fulbright dining hall, which is going to be right where the quads are. Right. So that's right on Garland. Um, y'all go over there. My suggestion is the really, really good stir fry that they have. I think I talk about it in every single video because it's <laughs> so good. And um, we did that tour yesterday. Yes, so we did that tour yesterday. It's archived now on our Facebook page. So you page. can go back over yep. there, or you can even go to our website and view them at movein.uark.edu. And we found out some of the some of the greens that we use, some of the lettuce we use, is actually grown here on campus. Yes, yeah, so, so kind of something cool. very interesting to know. And there's a lot of food options here on campus, and you want to know how that works with your card because freshmen, you do require to have a um, meal plan. So mm -hmm. definitely watch that video. Yes. Okay, so this room is another room that comes off kind of that kitchen area. Another lounge area, we do have a TV. Um, there's some old yearbooks down there. Nice. Um, fun fact about yearbooks, they're free. Mm -hmm. um, so get that. Don't, don't miss it. Don't miss it. Don't miss out on free. Um, you're going to have a DVD player down there where you can, of course, still watch DVDs. Yeah. Um, this would be the go-to place on Monday nights when yeah. The Bachelor, The Bachelorette is on. The watch parties, the is where they happen? Right is, that, is that true? Yes. All the floors have TV lounges, too, which you'll see. And mm -hmm. they are, Monday nights are just, each one is full of people watching. So if you're a fan, you will definitely have friends and a place to watch it with. And can so. you rent DVDs? I think you may have mentioned yeah, that Yeah, so can. one of the things the front desk also does is rents different DVDs. We have a huge selection and then we also have like the pots and pans which Molly mentioned oh, sure, earlier. Sure. So just uh, trade in your ID and then you'll get your ID back when you return the item. Do you happen to know which one of the which one is the most popular DVD? Oh like, gosh. I don't could know. Could you even guess? Okay, I okay. Yes, but there's quite a always few. watch Remember the Titans. That's a good classic. That's Remember the favorite. Titans. Okay. Remember the Titans, my favorite movie. There is a bathroom right there. Okay. If you ever need to go to a restroom, just point that out. Excellent. So now we're coming back around to the main lobby area. So right here was where I was mentioning, so this is going to be your very front entrance, mm -hmm. which has resident reserved parking, um, and that's where you'll basically come in every single time. So we're, we're facing north right we're now. We're facing north, yes. Okay. And we'll walk this way. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, some more lounging areas. Sure. Um, we're going to show you another cool kind of study room yeah. slash hangout room slash whatever you make of it room. Oh, what's that? <laughs> Whatever you make of it. Okay. Oh, so, yeah. We're really sorry. Furniture's kind of out. We like to clean. So we are mm -hmm. carpets clean. So yes. So all the furniture got moved around. But when you come in August, everything will be set up um, in a way that makes a lot more sense than this. But we do have clean carpets. Yeah. Brand fresh yeah. clean carpets. Clean carpets. Very nice. So is this room, how do you refer to these different rooms? Uh, we call this the blue room in general, but uh -huh. then we call the little room study rooms. So okay. each room has its own table, and those doors close. Mm -hmm. So they're not soundproof, but it is kind of protection if you need to do a group project or if you need to have kind of a group discussion. You can be in one of those rooms and kind of be separated from whatever might be going on in here. Fantastic. So, yeah, they Fantastic. get a lot of use. You have to study here on campus, so definitely take advantage of that. Um, it's a super good, calm place to come study. You mentioned Club Mullins, or Mullins Club Library is a good Mullins. place to check out. Well. It's called the Club Mullins because you're there 
all hours of the night. It does shut down at 2 a.m. except for finals week. It's open all the time. Um, so basically Claude Mullins is Mullins Library. So that's where you're going to go if you need to go use the computer or the printer or just get some nice quiet sitting down. So mm -hmm. there's four floors. There's the basement, which is utter silence. Do not even talk. It kind of freaks me out just unzipping my backpack. It's so quiet. <laughs> I'm just like, oh. Um, and then the first floor is just like the main floor where you walk in. So that's going to have all of your computers. Mm -hmm. um, there's going to be some study rooms that you can actually rent out if you go to the library's website. Um, it's everything. If you ever wanted to search anything about Arkansas, do what you want to search and then put UARC into Google and you'll find it. I yeah. promise you. That's um, the secret term. That's the secret term. You arc and then you, you arc and then whatever you want to search. And then second floor is also no talking. Third floor is my personal favorite because it is a talking floor. So I would go up there and I do some group projects or just do stuff on my own and it's nice. Yeah. So there's a lot of space. That's good to you know. Can't, there's always finals week. It's a little bit hectic because everyone's trying to study, sure. but and down on this floor we have is that right? Uh, trash and also uh, laundry. Is that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. so just pointing out recycling right here. Yeah. There is a competition between all of the halls about recycling, so please recycle. It's not that hard. It's plastic, newspaper, mixed papers, and aluminum cans. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we know what that is. There are elevators, which we will go up in a second. Yes. We'll go through this door, which is going to be the laundry room mm -hmm. and the trash chute. Okay. So the trash room is going to be right here. You'll just have to take your trash down. There's a fob again, and you'll just open up this door and you'll throw your trash out there. Yeah. Um, so I think it's open at weird hours too, so make sure that you Mary, do you have any thoughts about how we uh, get rid of trash here? Yeah, so a lot of the taller buildings like Yoakum and Humphreys have trash chutes, but mm -hmm. in Reed we do not. They've all been closed. So it is kind of a pain to come and bring your stuff down, but it does save the building from uh, getting the little creatures that we <laughs> don't really like. So bring all your trash down here. You will need your fob, so if you happen to uh, get out without your fob, you'll be stuck outside. So be sure to bring your fob. And it's only open certain hours from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. So uh, if you are taking your trash out at night, you should just wait until first thing in the morning. Okay, so. and there'll be dumpsters out there that you just Yeah, there'll be dumpsters, and then there's also a cardboard dumpster too, okay. since that's not at the like recycling center. Very good to know. Yeah. Well, I, I hope no one gets trapped up. Yeah. Gets, gets trapped up. <laughs> I hope not too. All right, so. We're headed this way. Okay. And so we're about to see the laundry room. Um, fun fact, don't go on a Sunday. That's when it's the most busiest. Mm. Do Everybody's know? doing their laundry Everyone's on Sunday. Everyone's trying to do their laundry on Sunday. Okay. So when you first walk in, you're gonna notice there's an ice machine, mm -hmm. so you can come and get some ice. Um, there's some desk right here, so whenever I would do my laundry, I would just bring all my homework down and I would study and watch it. But if you don't want to do that and you want to go back up to your room, we do have something called Laundry Alert. Uh -huh. What's that? What Laundry Alert is, so you'll notice on all of the washers right here, you have this scan here. So basically what you can do is you can scan that with your iPhone. Um, they do have an app that you could also download and it's also for Android. Uh, you can scan that and it will let you know and I'll send you a notification or a text so I'm saying when this is done. Um, same thing with the dryers. You can also look on the app or go online even and you can see what's open. So you're not having to take a wasted trip down here to right. see what's open and closed. So the washers do wash. I will say when it is done washing you need to come down here immediately and put clothes in the dryer um, because the dryers are always filled up. A lot of times we get asked what's the fee for the washing and it's included in your fees, so don't have to bring any quarters or any of that. It's included all in here. Basically, we suggest Tide Pods. If you were like me and you missed your softener, you just kind of use the old-fashioned stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but you'll just throw your clothes in, you'll press power, you'll hit, you know, regular spin, and you'll hit start. Sure. Fantastic. So. Great. Great. Well, I guess that's and what we wanted to show. You want yes, to show them that? I'll show them the okay. last thing. So basically, if you have no idea what I'm saying, or you're kind of confused, this is the whole easy how-to steps right here. So right. I'll just let you know everything right there. Okay. So you can't, can't miss out on it. Take advantage of everything that's offered to you because you do pay for it. Yes. All right, so now we will walk up. There are stairs on the end if you wanted to take the stairs. I highly suggest taking the stairs if you're on the second or the third floor because people on the upper floors 
We'll get mad at you if you press floor number three. Mm, okay. Now we're going up to the very top, so yes. let's not take the stairs. Let's not. <laughs> we would be so out of breath. Uh -huh. It'd be horrible. By the way, you're doing a great job. You're, uh, Thank you. you're doing that. Very good. Um, also, I will say that the elevator looks a little bit different right now because this is how it's going to be set up on move-in day. So that way when you move in stuff, you're not going to damage the walls or anything. So. Yeah, it's covered. So. It's covered. But it, there is actual stuff underneath. Yes, there are actual, it's actually a nice elevator. Mm -hmm. Fun fact about an elevator, just because I love to embarrass my roommate so much from last year, Natalie Akers dropped oh, her- by name. I, by name. Dropped her phone down the elevator shaft on the first day of moving. Couldn't get it until Monday when the maintenance people were- Right down there, huh? Literally, right little, I don't know how you dropped right there. that, but it went all the way down to the bottom floor and it was, it was just choice. So we're in Reed Hall, so, ninth floor. Ninth floor, so congrats, we've made it to the ninth floor. Um, right here was the study rooms that Meredith was talking about earlier. Yeah. You can come down here, you can do some studying, and even watch The Bachelor. Right, one on each floor. So, so one how, on many, each floor. Uh, how many uh, ladies pack into that room? Oh, that quite a few. I mean, I've seen where it's just standing room only right standing here. Room so only. Wow. you can get pretty full. Sure. I mean, sure. there are about 450 people living in, uh -huh. so you can only imagine every single floor on a Monday night. Absolutely. Yeah. So we we'll, have another um, uh, water bottle filler yes. here right here. On every floor. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go to the bathroom and we'll just show you kind of what it's like. Yeah. And there's so, two banks, so there's two banks yes. of bathrooms on each floor. So where the elevator splits, that side of the hallway, people will use that bathroom and then the people on either side of this hallway will use this one. Okay. Yeah. Let's head inside. So we'll look at just the regular old bathroom stall first. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have five stalls right here and you're gonna have five sinks. Mm -hmm. There's a nice vanity because we know how much we want to look at ourselves and make sure we're looking good. Something unique is you have a full length mirror. So you don't have to ever worry about if those shoes don't look good with that outfit because you can see. <laughs> so this is an all girl haul in mm -hmm. case you didn't mention that. But Sure, sure. I, guys care about their kicks too. I mean, yeah, <laughs> but you know girls, we have to look good for the guys. Right, right. So here's going to be your showers. You're going to have four on this side. Sure. You're going to have one on this side. This is the bigger handicap one. Let's go ahead and go inside one of the showers and just give a view. So right here, you're just going to have a good old changing room. Um, you're going to have a little sh bottom shelf right here. Mm -hmm. And then this is going to be the actual shower. Um, it is a little tight space. You mm -hmm. don't need much though. The water is always hot, I promise you. And here's going to be some shelves. Something I would suggest, mm -hmm. highly suggest, um, when using co-ed, or not co-ed, all girl showers, um, bring a towel wrap when you're changing, going from your room to the bathroom just to cover yourself up. Of course, a towel. Mm -hmm. um, a shower caddy. Don't get the plastic kind. I would get the kind that has the mesh on it. That's a lot easier to carry. And the most important thing, if you take anything away from date, is buy shower shoes. They're like two bucks at Old Navy. You can get them at Walmart. I had those Jesus sandals, like the crocodile shoes. Mm -hmm. There were five bucks I got at the beach, but you said the bathrooms are cleaned every single day. So something to keep in mind. What's that? Oh, the bathrooms are cleaned Monday through Friday. Monday through Friday, so, on so Saturday, the weekends. Saturday and Sunday. Saturday and Sunday were, yeah. they're, sure, so be aware of that. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hey, thanks for pointing that out. Sure, we'll go. This way, so that's where that side of the hall would come in at, and this is the side. Sounds good. We're going to check out that corner room, I think, yes, first. Yes, we're going to go check out the corner room. Um, we'll do all of the main measurements in the other room, though, uh -huh. because everything's going to be almost the same. Thing. Yeah. So these are, we're going to show you the exception room on yeah. this floor. So 923, congratulations. This is your room yes. in about maybe a month or so. All right. A little bit less than that. Okay. So let's show so off this room, this which is a corner room. The corner room. It's very nice, very big. Um, you're gonna have these right here where you can hang your clothes at. There's two upper shelves right here. Um, you have upper shelves right there. Um, I would put my food up there in a little bag and some textbooks I didn't actually use. Um, right here, you're just gonna have a little mirror and you're gonna have some drawers where you can put your stuff inside of. Mm -hmm. um, just a little square. Um, there's a wall outlet right there. And then this is your bed right here. Mm -hmm. So I'll just go ahead and give you the shabules about the beds. Mm -hmm. You can loft them. Um, if you want to put in a maintenance request before you get here, 
go to housing.uark.edu forward slash fix it. Mm -hmm. um, they'll do it for you. That would be my easiest suggestion. However, if you want to do it yourself, first off, we have rubber mallets here, but we suggest bringing your own because everyone's trying to do it at the same time. Um, so if you want to lock it yourself, basically what you want to do, you can lock it as high as here, but if you want it higher than there, basically you'll just take the bed off mm -hmm. and you'll flip this completely around and so you can lift it as high as like here. Yeah, so um, what's what's down here right now, you can these just little flip. areas, yeah, you can flip that so that it can go up to here. Yeah, um, and you have the desk of course. Mm -hmm. Right here, you can move the desk and shift them more in if you want to put a little end table right yeah. there. And um, so this room is super cool because there's lots of space. Mm -hmm. Well, great. Well, let's let's go ahead and check out one of the more typical rooms, probably the kind of room that you will be living in. Yeah. I'll turn off that light. Okay. If you are room nine nineteen. Nine nineteen is the one we can check out. Okay. Is your ultimate day. All right, so this is room 919. So this is when y'all can start asking questions. Yeah, feel free. Um, We're feel happy free. to measure anything you we'll need. We'll measure anything. So this is just going to be typical room. You're going to have your two beds. That, again, like you can lock, like I said. You're going to have two desks right here with these. These can move, so yeah. Yep, they can move. So be careful about that. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to have two walls right here or wardrobes where you can hang your clothes out again, uh, of course. Switch places and I'll show that off. Yeah. Right here with the two shelves again, mm -hmm. this upper cabinet right here, and then use chores and some countertop space. Yeah. And what's cool if you're on this side, you have the really cool view. Mm -hmm. So you have the view of the stadium, which is super cool because the day before a home game, it lights up red. So that's something really cool to see at night. Yeah, but yeah. you can see all the thousands, tens of thousands of people who will descend upon Razorback Stadium. So, so we had one question come in already. Mm -hmm. um, Kirsten wanted to know the link from here to there. Okay. And it's about 38 inches. 38 inches right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, 38. great. And let me just measure the height just in case. Yeah. It's going to be right at 19. 19, okay. Yeah. And then what's the depth? I guess we'll go ahead and get that too. Um, right at 12 and 3 fourths. Okay, okay. Great. Well, now is the moment. We'd love to hear your questions. Um, we're happy to answer them and give you any measurements you need. I know that one measurement we've been asked for before was how wide the um, these uh, squares are. And what are yeah. they, two? So they're about one? two and a quarter uh -huh. by two and a quarter. Okay. Is what we measured earlier. Great, great. Okay. So if you ever wanted to put your little headboards up there, you can do so. Yeah, there are headboards up here right now. Yeah. Um, you can always come over here and you can hang some pictures over here. I'm mm -hmm. um, hanging some lights. I know everyone's favorite thing is to hang up lights in the room. But however, if you do drill something into the wall, you're going to have to pay for that. So make sure that you're bringing command strips. Right. And put that everywhere. You don't want Please to do not drill to into the, the Please the do not. It's concrete. Yes. So it'd be kind of hard to. Um, but anything that happens in this room that you damage, you will have to pay for it. Yeah. Let's show them the outlets. I think there's, what, two outlets? Yeah, so there's each two desk. on each desk that you uh -huh. can have up there. Um, there's a place for internet cable if you need just to connect to your computer mm -hmm. directly. Um, the... We do have wireless. Yes, we have, we, wireless. Are, we have wireless. Throughout. Um, there is TV cable right uh -huh. here, so if you want to plug in a TV, if just you know the rooms are getting too crowded because of Bachelor Monday night <laughs> yeah. and you want to watch Scandal or something, mm -hmm. you can plug in the TV right there. Um, you get all of Cox cable on there. You do get the HBOs, mm -hmm. so you can watch the movies. Um, you can pay an extra fee if you want the box cable box. The DVR service. DVR. Exactly. Exactly. So yeah. And then you mentioned there's another outlet there's right another there. another outlet, and that's going to be the light mm -hmm. board up there. Yeah. So, and you do have a vanity, which is super nice. Great. Okay. Yeah. Oh, gosh. All right. So. Another measurement that is commonly asked is the height of this. So, uh -huh. the height of the full bed frame is a full 60 inches or 5 feet. So, that's the one I've most recently. Okay, thanks so, for ha thanks for adding that. Yeah. I realized I had been uh, not strolling through all the comments, so there are some here, which I were about to take as they yeah. come in. Okay, 
So, uh, Sarah says, I saw vacuums. Can they be checked out for a girl's use? Yes, absolutely. The vacuums can be checked out with your ID at the front desk. Mm -hmm. so. And Elizabeth says, uh, can you use the elevators for move-in? You yes. can move the, use the elevators for moving things up, but then you have to take the stairs down. Yeah. So we tried to, with so many people moving in, especially with most of our residents coming on um, August 10th, it'll be very, very full. So there'll be a line for the elevator to go up, but then everybody has to come down. It creates stairs. a good flow, a good circular yeah. flow of, of movement. Yeah. And um, hey, Laura from Boise, glad you're chat tuning in. Boise. Yeah. yeah. That's far. Yeah, you bet. Um, uh, Michelle asked, are these the new beds? And I believe they yes. are. Yes, so these yeah. are all the new beds. Uh, the old beds are no more. Mm -hmm. So these are the ones that you guys received the email about last week. Mackenzie's excited about 9... Are we in 918? No, 919. 919. Mm -hmm. we, can so we can maybe dip into 918. <laughs> yeah. no if we have time, Mackenzie will dip into 918 for you, okay? All right, and Dana asked, how do you hang a curtain on that giant window? So how do we hang a curtain? Let's see, what would be the best route to do um, that? It's, I'll take it from over here if you want to measure it. You want yeah, to measure it's that really way? hard to hang uh, <laughs> curtains mm -hmm. in these windows, so that's probably the second most common question. And I have yet to find a really good answer. We can give you the measurements in a second, but one thing I suggest is that, uh, I think it's either Rubbermaid or 3M, make these uh, curtain rod holders that attach uh, with command strips that you can put anywhere and then you can get your own tension rod but the hard thing is it's really hard to find a rod that's this long. Sure, so, sure. And the weight, um, the weight of the curtain itself yes. might pull pretty hard with so command strips. A lot so. of people do lights and kind of use Christmas lights but uh, getting a curtain is really hard. Yeah. So but we'll give you those measurements so that you can try. Oh, I hit my hand. Oh no. Okay. We're solid. You might not be able to see it very well but there's a little nook here okay. that makes there is an outlet on this corner end. Okay. So, yeah. So it's about 132 and a half inches. 132 and a half inches is the width, and then the height that we can give him from oh. from the bottom up to the top. <laughs> you got this. Hey, look at you, man. Thank you. Where do you yeah. want to start? Oh, you got it. You got it. <laughs> uh, it's about 63 inches. 63 inches, Dana. To Hopefully the very that. Top. Helps you out yeah. with that measurement. And yeah. Molly, have you seen anybody come up with good curtain solutions? Honestly, I didn't even. I wanted to use curtains, but I. It was a lot easier when you can just close the blinds. Uh -huh. yeah. Um, because you know cur that's what curtains are used for. It's pretty dark in here, especially at night. It shouldn't really wake you up. Mm -hmm. That's what I would suggest. I mean, something I've really learned after moving into a dorm or hall last year was you want to bring less because you can always buy more when you get here. Mm -hmm. You don't want to overcrowd this space because it is smaller. It's not used to your regular bedroom. Um, so you have to use what is given here. Sure, so sure. I would definitely bring less. You can always buy more. This is Walmart USA. We got Target. We have TJ Maxx. There's a Home Goods and Rogers. Mm -hmm. um, so that would be my biggest suggestion. And you yeah. know, you're going to be living here for about eight months. So. I, I kind of hated my headboard in the middle of the um, year because it was just kind of annoying and I was just like, yeah, get off. <laughs> it kept on breaking and falling and. All right, all right. Things, Good things to know, things you learned. Things, things you actually I learned, learned okay. my freshman year. Uh, Jill asked, how much space is above, above the window to hang drapes? So it doesn't look like I'm just kind of eyeballing above the window to hang drapes. I'm thinking there's really just no room up there at all. Maybe, maybe an inch. I mean, it's very tight up there. Yeah. Maybe an inch. I mean, like I said, you don't necessarily need those. It, it is cute, and it's a really cute decoration thing, but you can just close the blinds, and it's just as good because you don't want to overcrowd this space. Shelby asks, what are the depths of the drawers and the dressers? So we can give her the depth of the drawers? Yeah, it's going to be right behind you. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so uh, the top two, it looks like, are uh, shallower than the other ones. Mm -hmm. So... We'll do these top two first. And it looks like uh, it's four inches. Four inches is sort of the height, yeah. Oh. And then the depth would be. Oh, okay, I was thinking depth the yeah. other way. Sorry about that. No, no we worries. will make an adjustment. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. And then these are 17 inches. 17 inches in depth. And I think each one of them are probably 17. Yeah. But they probably go as sense. deep as that. Yeah. Uh, the height is a little bit different, and the length obviously yeah. is a little bit different. 
But let's see, okay. You're basically, one whole drawer will just be for t-shirts. Mm -hmm. I'm not even kidding you. One drawer will just be for t-shirts. One drawer will just be for shorts and leggings. Mm -hmm. um, highly suggest lofting your beds and then buying an extra storage put underneath your beds. Nice. So if you're like me, I mean, it doesn't help that I work at a shoe store, but I have infinite amount of shoes. And Do you, you own a few shoes? <laughs> I own a few shoes. I bought some broken socks and two pair of Nikes last week. <laughs> so <laughs> just just get a bin and put that. We'll do a seat. separate separate show on that one. Yeah. Uh, Anna I'm asks, lie. how deep is the closet? So we'll, how deep? Yes. How deep is that closet right there? Uh, I'm gonna do it deep this way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll hold it. Yeah. If you wanna hold it there. Yeah. So. It's about 23 and a half inches. 23 and a half inches yeah. is the depth of the closet. Do you want to measure it from down here to this sure. pole? Sure, we can give her from just, the pole. Yeah. Let's see. Do you want to move it back just a bit? Yeah. Uh, it's about 55 inches from the bottom of the closet to the uh, rod. bottom of the rod. 55 inches is what? Okay. Yeah. And then, uh, Laurie asks, how high is the space under the bed when lofted to the middle position? So why don't we go ahead and just, it's a little hard to estimate. Yeah, so Let's if go this through. went to this top one, which would hook in right here, mm -hmm. we can, uh, it's kind of hard to see exactly, but we can try. Um, you're looking at right at mm, 30 and a half. 30 and a half 30 inches. And, a half. and if we're just looking at the middle of that pole, which I guess how many, yeah, so the middle of the pole is where you were measuring it from, around about that? Yeah, and it okay. has two hooks. So it has to start from this. Yeah. Okay, yeah. great. Yeah. yeah, that's very helpful. And like we said, you know, you can go to housing.uark.edu forward slash fix it and they'll loft it for you. Mm -hmm. They will. Yeah, do if, they, uh, if they can't get to your lofting, because we've had so many requests for it, it is such an easy fix with these new beds. Yes. You just need to kind of pop it out and then flip it and pop it right back in. Pop it, so flip it, pop so, it right yeah. back in again. Yeah. I did it so, last year when moving out. All you have to do is someone hold on to this. And just do that. I promise you. It doesn't take that much arm strength because I have nothing. <laughs> Elizabeth asks, can you take the bulletin board off the wall? Yes. <laughs> so <laughs> the bulletin boards currently are, are, saying, if you don't mind, you got sure, you. Um, okay. are in all the rooms. We do say that if you want to take the bulletin board down, you can on your own as long as you put it back up when you move out in May. And then if you check out in May and the bulletin board is not there or if some of the bolts are gone we will charge you for the maintenance to have it put back up but we know that people like to take them down just make sure and put it back up um and ask how deep are the closet shelves i think we it would be the same depth for the closet shelves that we measured for the rest of the closet we can give them the height well this is a little okay. shorter is it? Oh, okay yeah so these are just under 16 inches so like 16 inches is quarters. the depth of that shelf okay 16 yeah. and three quarters yeah okay yeah great good to know um, uh, Kirsten asks, and what's the height too? So the height of that would be what, from here to here? There, yeah. So I say like nine and a quarter. Uh huh. Nine and a quarter. And the other one, the top one, is that one we think we can get a measurement on? We could try. Gotcha. Between. <laughs> right there. That looks um, good. I'd say about ten. Oh Let's no. See, 21, twenty-two. Twenty-two. Yeah, yeah, I would say we straightened out right there. Yeah, and uh, yeah, about 21, 22, that seems about right. Yeah, 21 and a half, somewhere in there. <laughs> Do you want to measure just on the top from the bottom? Sure. Someone's going to ask yeah, about curtains. Will. Yeah. So I know someone's going to ask about curtains. You feel, the, you feel the question coming, huh? I feel it coming. Okay. Okay, so that's 91 inches from the very top. From the very top. Like 91 very top. inches, But if okay. you wanted to do it from like, I don't know, right there would be a typical height. Mm -hmm. Or if you want to just put it all the way to the top, what is that? That's 87. 87. 87 is that one. So it's, that's about yeah, two inches shy of the top. Yeah. Okay. Hey, our pleasure. Thank you. Um, that would be something I would actually suggest is putting a curtain up. Like, putting a curtain yeah. up. Sure. Uh, Shelby asks, what is the max height you can loft the bed? I believe it's around 77 inches. I'm not entirely sure. But uh, we can check yeah, it so it would be as high as this from where this would be up there. So... And this is the full length here is 60. Oh, 60 inches. here, okay. So it would just be a little bit shy of that, is where your mattress would come. If you're okay. on that peg, it's going to be like 58. So 58 is the height yeah. of, of um, yeah. lofting them here. It's different in different halls, so sorry, yeah, 58 would be about the, about the limit. Um, 
Anna asks, how do you attach curtains to the window? And that's a good question. We were just having that discussion. Question. Yeah. Um, do you want I me think, to answer it? Yeah, I mean, I think the recommendation that you were saying, or there's no real recommendation. All we're doing is telling you kind of what we yeah, think might yeah. work. It's just really hard to get any sort of thing up there. I have seen moms and dads and uh, <laughs> read women try, and mm -hmm. it's just really difficult. That's why we put the blinds in. But uh, like I said earlier, sometimes people will do Christmas lights. Um, they can tack things in the ceiling. We'll charge you for those those little holes, but sometimes people are ready to take that charge on or just put something small. Sure. I would guess maybe if you could find a tension rod that long, then you wouldn't necessarily have to do any mounting of anything. Yes. You I just, just don't create know a tension rod. Of, people have been yeah. able to find Yeah, it was like 136 yeah. something inches. It was yeah. big. Yeah. Okay, let's see what other questions we have here. We yeah. love all the questions. Thank you. I will show you some right here uh -huh. that we kind of forgot to mention. Your chair does come apart. Oh, right. So yeah. you can make a little rocker right here. So I know my dorm room, everyone came inside of. There would be like 10 people at once. You think I'm kidding, I'm not. Um, so that creates more space and more chairs for people. More real estate to sit on. Yeah. And you said you were particular about people sitting on your bed, so right? I was very particular. I do not like people sitting on my bed. Random Maybe sitting on your bed. Maybe my roommate, mm -hmm. but feet gross me out. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily, oh, in a way. So I'm like, no, please don't. I just clean my sheets. Please just put it on my bed. Got it, got it. So uh, I wrote, you know, my bed one time. I was like, how many on? Grace asked, how do we attach our own headboard? And, um, I mean, do you have an answer specifically well, for that? it just kind of depends on the headboard, honestly. Yeah. Because, you know, you can get the kind where it just rests right there on the bottom of your bed. Mm -hmm. um, or the one I made, I made it off of Pinterest. It was cardboard, and I just put fabric over it. Um, you can go look at my mom's account, AJ Bramachick, if you want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> it's really cool. Real tied. Um, uh -huh. But I just made it to where like it went over this part right here the cardboard and then it did that little cute little thing up there so it just kind of rests over that okay um something really cool i know that you can get it's at dorm decor if you don't want to put an actual headboard up they have these headboard pillows which is just as cute that was so much cuter than buying an actual headboard so that would be something i would suggest and it keeps your bed from shifting and sliding because there is some space right there okay so good to yeah. know um, Sarah asks, can you measure the height, width, and depth of the shelf above the vanity? So this, this would be the vanity. One. Yeah, that one's a little harder, but we will Hopefully try. I'm tall enough. Yeah. Um, what do you, what? Uh, 16 say, and a half. Yes, yeah, 16. 16 and a half would be the height. And then <laughs> oh, the width. The gonna, depth might be a little hard. Okay. Let's see. Well, I'm just gonna... Well, let's see, I think... You got it? Okay, I think I'm hitting the back. Oh my gosh. I'm solid. Anything okay. for the video. Yeah, for those of you TV land, we'll risk... 24 and 1 fourth. 24 and 1 fourth. Yes. Okay. And then we were yeah, gonna get the length as well. Let's see. Do you want to take that end or the other end? I'll take this end. It's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. Uh, it's gonna be about 61 and a half. 61 and a half. Okay. Hey, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Molly and Meredith for that. Sarah, Sarah appreciates it. And Hannah course, asks, girlfriend. can you set the bed at any height? And I guess the answer is that you yeah. can set the bed at any height along, and those are kind of what, two to three inch increments, it looks like? Yeah. Yeah, two or three inch increments. Yeah, once it's flipped over, it should be able to span the whole length of the, mm -hmm. the bed first. Um, I would put like see. your microwave, or no, microwave. I put that up there. Your mini fridge, you can put that underneath mm -hmm. your bed. Some more shelves, that's what I put underneath my bed. I had a humidifier because I have asthma that was underneath my bed in my laundry basket. Nice. Yeah. Nice. You want, because there's so, like, you don't have a whole lot of space, so you don't want to overcrowd. And your wardrobe is most likely going to be filled with all of your shoes and your clothes. So that, that's why I would suggest lofting your bed because you'd put anything like that mm -hmm. underneath. Mm -hmm. Uh, show me a, a measurement from the vanity counter to the shelf above it. So that's one dimension I don't think we've got just yet. So well, let's see. You want to hold yeah. this, Molly. And then... So we have the height, which is... It's about 34. 34 inches mm -hmm. is the height. And then, do you want to know the... Yeah, let's get the length and the, and the depth as well. This is 23. 23 is the depth. Yeah. And then the length... The length would be the same. Oh, the same. That, yeah. yeah. We've we'll already done that one once, but we'll, we'll do it again. 63. 63? Okay. Yeah. Um, 
porch. Lindsay asks, are the windows in the in rooms the same size as the regular rooms? They are bigger. They, yeah, I'm pretty sure they're bigger. They're significantly bigger, yeah. We were just in there earlier. And then Leah asked, in the closet, what is the height from the floor to the hanging bar? I think we, we already did that. We did that one. So if you could just look back a little bit on the video, you can see that measurement. That was one of the first measurements we did. So I would, you know, right when we start to come in this room, that's when I force. Yeah, sure. Um, Shelby asked, do we have to bring our own light bulbs? And I think the answer is no. Yeah, we I think will. we'll even change them for you. Yep. Yeah, so anytime your lights go out, you can just put in a maintenance request and your RA or somebody at the front desk can always show you how to do that. And they will come in and do that for you. And it's important that you do that yourself by you saying that you're submitting the work request. It's giving them permission to come in your room to do that change. But they will never come in at a weird hour. Right, right. And they're all housing staff. It's yeah. not... It's not subcontracted, yeah, it's all trusted university blinds. housing staff. Yeah. They, they do what? They fixed my blinds. Very nice. Get them. Oh. <laughs> no questions asked? Do they just do it? Yeah, no questions nice. asked. Like, like, I was in class, she was in class, they just came in, we came back and we're like, oh, those are really nice blinds. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. they leave a note on the door telling yeah. you that they were there, so you're not like, who was yeah. in my space? They don't touch anything. They just come in and fix it. And right. We're not in the business of blaming you for things like that that happen. No, so no, no. Yeah. feel free. Please turn in a maintenance Sometimes request. Sometimes blinds, we'll... when you're trying to close them, they just break. Yeah. Yeah, we know that they're old. And... That's life. Yeah. Okay. Madison asks, can you turn the bed closest to the door sideways and put the desk next to the door? That would be something I would ask your roommate first. Yeah. Um, because it is kind of weird space in here. You could do it. Um, thing, but that's going to be right on her face. Yeah, so the thing, the bed isn't long enough to go, or the bed is too long to be on here without this desk having to move. Mm -hmm. So you would have to arrange it. So you're kind of way. stepping over the understanding that everybody gets 50% yeah. of the room. Yeah, these rooms are really tight. It's really hard to come up with too creative of a setup because every inch is kind of thought <laughs> out. So uh, it is kind of a challenge to find a new bedroom layout but you are welcome to try this furniture is light and ready to be moved yeah. around so whatever you want to try to get creative go for it you know? whatever you and your roommate agree to is yeah. certainly okay with us uh, Anna asks can you move the twin XL up against the wall or does it have to stay long ways and I think we were kind of yeah it just wouldn't fit with everything else yeah Sarah says uh, can you give us all the measurements of the closet I think we've done we've yeah, the no, closet yeah. so if you could just tune in back there uh, Hannah is in room 920 and Ooh, maybe, right next door. maybe we'll just dip in real quick yeah. if we get a chance to 918 and 920. Listen, if y'all are on this side facing the stadium, why would you want to get curtains? That's beautiful. Yeah. I think it's a really nice beautiful. view. Beautiful. Best view. And game day is just going to be a ton of people that you oh can watch. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay. Kirsten asks, uh, can we also see another room on the opposite side of the building facing away from the stadium? No. I just want to see what the view yes. is like. Uh, sure, you know, yeah, we can dip over. Sure. I'm not going to leave another floor, but we can certainly maybe check out that. Absolutely one. not. Uh, Grace <laughs> asked, how do you uh, place and attach your own headboard? I think we kind of spoke yeah. for that yeah. a moment ago, and I'm catching up with all the all the questions now. <laughs> Leah asked, how big is the nook at the window? That's uh, a good the one. The nook. Let's see if this um, nook. I'm assuming she's meaning this area. Yeah, I think so. So a lot of people put their microwave sitting here. Okay. Um, I've seen all kinds of things. But this deck is 24 inches in uh, deep, right. and the length of the windowsill is how it would be, and it's 13 and a quarter. So 24 deep, 13 and a quarter is the width, yeah. and then I mean the height is all the way up to the uh, ceiling. So I'll see if I can do that. <laughs> it's not super exact, but we're about 62 inches. About now. 62 inches. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, Anna asks, are there any other ways to arrange the bed? You I know, or they, they have to say like that. Yeah, I mean, they, this is really a... Yeah, they do these layouts for a reason because this is going to give you the most amount of space. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Hannah asked, how would you say us to hang a curtain across the closet? And I think tension rod yeah, would work yeah, really well in that really space. Well. I got a curtain from Hobby Lobby. It was on sale half off. It worked perfectly fine. Plus you're 40% off. Yeah, you can always find Plus that on, on top. <laughs> Uh, all right. Hey, thank you. Glad you're glad you're tuning in. Uh, Leah asked, can you bring different chairs for the desk? Yes. I would just, you can't take any furniture out of here. Mm -hmm. It has to stay in here. So in, that's including these things. You can put it underneath your bed if you want to. My roommate, she got another chair last year. So yeah. You're responsible. Everything we, we give to you when you arrive, you're responsible for giving back to us. Mm -hmm. Can you bring an additional chair in? You know, that, that's as you wish. Yeah. As and long you, as you... Yeah, if I could reiterate that point, yeah. you may not 
you know, even if your parents live in Fayetteville or you have locals and they're certain they're going to bring it back in May, you cannot take anything mm -hmm. out of this room. We have people ask that every mm -hmm. year. So, but you're welcome to hide your chair somewhere else and get something that's less black, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> it's not even white. Yeah. Like I said, home goods and Rogers. Yeah. Well, Sonia just, um, is Rogers. following up with the question, if we want to use different desk chairs, what do we do with the ones provided? I mean, they have to keep them here. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that's just... people put them in this thing put up, up here. here in this space? Okay. I see them stored there, but then, like Mom said, the under your bed. Is Underneath the bed. Sure, right. sure. And it does break apart in that yeah. way that we showed earlier. You just have to basically, there's this little thing that you press down here and mm -hmm. take it off. Yeah. So you can make it a little bit smaller. Yeah, um, too. So many great questions. Shelby, when making a request to loft your bed, how do you specify how tall you want it? Um, you know, I guess, what would you say? Uh, you would probably use inches, you would say. I would just kind of be like, hey, I want it like lofted three fourths of the way up. Right, three is fourths be, is probably a good way. That would be my caution if you don't want it the full length, because if you say to put in a request to loft it, they'll probably put it the full height. Mm -hmm. If you don't want that in order to get exactly what you want, I would just wait until you get here and do it um, by yourself with your parents or your friends or your roommate, because mm -hmm. it really is just it's that It's so easy, easy. like, yeah. I'm not even kidding you, all you have to do do this mm -hmm. and it comes up pops yeah. right up with a rubber mallet pops right up yeah okay let's see what are the questions all right is there a full length mirror on the back of the door no but there is some shelves for you to hang your towels good question we did, forgot to show that yeah. um so hang your towels back up here there is a little people mm -hmm. um and this is just some emergency procedures um just to read sometimes the fire alarm does go off and you have to wake up at weird hours of the night sometimes there's tornado warnings, and that actually happened. So I've lived here for 16 years. You're completely fine. Absolutely. <laughs> um, but you can you can you can put uh, a mirror in here if you yes. want to. Uh, Anne asks, can you measure from the end of the bed against the window to the front of the closet? And that is not a measurement we've gotten yet. Oh, no, sure, we could do that. Um, let's see. So this is a uh, window side. Um, let's see, I'm going to do it from this. It's 29 inches. 29 inches. So okay. I did it from this thermostat thing since mm -hmm. it sticks out. Sure, that so. wall right there. Yeah. Okay, let's see what else we've got here. Bless you. <laughs> um, is, Michelle asks, is the bed mattress a normal size or XL? And um, it depends on which side of the room we're on. Yes, right? so if you're on the door side, mm -hmm. that is a traditional twin. So you can get any sort of twin... Uh, sheets and then if you have the window side bed you will need a uh, twin XL uh, sheets that is an XL mattress. Okay. One thing I've been suggesting if you haven't talked with your roommate about what side of the room you want is to get the twin XL sheets because then they're absolutely going to fit both beds. Yeah. And most beddings now come they're all like twin slash twin XL. Yeah. So if I were you I'd get that bed by the wall because you can hang more wall art. Yeah, that was a nice thing that I noticed. Yeah, Claire asked, how much room is there between the end of the XL bed, twin bed, and the closet? So I think it was one that we yeah. just took a second ago. Uh, Sonia asked, how much room is between the two beds, or what is a good size of a carpet to go here? Oh, uh, um, yeah, we can measure. What between... do we say? We've said a lot of times like six by seven or something oh, yeah. like that. I'm right here. So between the two beds from the end of the bed post, this is about 91 inches. Mm -hmm. So that gives you some time. Let me, 91 inches. Let me do the math real quick. Yeah. 91 by, I don't know, you probably want to start one here, maybe. So that's about seven and a half. Maybe so probably a five by seven. There. I gotcha. And then if you were to come up here, about uh, five by seven. Okay, so is that around a five by seven? Four by six would fit better than five by seven. Okay. Five by seven would be closer to this desk. If you want it just to where the bedposts are, four by six. Four by six is gonna be your best bet, okay. Yeah. And to reiterate what Molly was saying, sometimes it's hard to bring stuff before you've actually seen the room. So mm -hmm. I would maybe wait, wait, and then you can always go to Walmart. We always and recommend and, that. Then yeah. you it's get so in the space close. and inhabit the space yeah. a little bit, figure out what you yeah. need. Yeah. It's a pain to lug all this stuff here and then have <laughs> it not work and have to return it. Yeah. Walmart also, if you order walmart.com, they have a thing where you can have it delivered to your room before you move in. So that is a good suggestion, especially for if you don't rent a yeah. fridge through us, buying mm -hmm. it on Walmart and have them deliver it here so you don't have to wait in that elevator line. Nice. And that does remind me of dollies. Mm -hmm. You can use dollies. We have some here that you can use. But again, like she was saying, so many people are moving in here early for sorority recruitment. So 
bringing your own dolly does not hurt at all if you don't want to wait, so a suggestion. Jill asks, can you control the heat and air for your room? You can. Mm -hmm. So that's to an extent. What we do have a oh, thermostat there. Oh yeah, right okay. here. There's a thermostat the down here. The hard thing is that with so many rooms so close together, it's not quite exact as you're probably used to at home. Okay. So you can have it to a couple degrees, but it still is pretty hard to regulate with this many rooms all trying to have exact. Right know, now it's pretty chilly and it's a hot day out. So yeah. at least you're Best comfortable in your jeans, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, Kelsey asks, can you measure the floor space between the beds? So the rug size question, yes. which we answered. Four by six, five um, by seven. Shelby asks, how tall from the uh, floor to the ceiling? And I guess that's just a general floor to the ceiling question. I, I'm not sure how tall it is, but we can measure that. Yeah, I'll hold it steady. Okay. So if we come all the way down here, mm -hmm. um, this, here, let me move it over. Get straightened up. Eight feet yeah. is the height of this build, of this room. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. How long is each desk? Um, we'll just give them the length real quick. Yeah. The top of the length. All right. Uh, that is 42 inches. Okay. Great. Well, that is the end of the question. So why don't we dip into those two rooms yeah. that we said so, we would. Yeah. Thanks for all the great questions. We've enjoyed that. Call? Yeah. So we said 418, I think was one of them we were going to check out? Uh, 920 was one and 918 was one. Okay. So we'll dip into 918 because she said it first. Yes. So. Here's your room. I think your name was Madeline. I don't know if it's 918. not Madeline. 918. I'm so sorry. Yes. But here's your room. Great. It's basically cool. the same thing. Basically the same thing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. It's always nice. I mean, I was, yeah. I was totally that person too. I was like, hey, can you go into Yoakum 809? And you know, if we're on the floor and we're doing these tours, we don't mind checking it out. We don't have the time to go through all the floors, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, this is 920. Uh-huh. Um, so someone asked about this and we'll go to the other side just to show you that view. Yeah. So here right. is. Oh. So again, basically the exact same room. Yeah. Basically the exact same dimensions. Same. So, yeah. It's all the same. Um, okay. And then let's go to this other yeah. side. Let's pass through and check a look at that yeah. the view on the other side. So, I'll give you some of Molly's tips. You're welcome, Mackenzie. We're happy to do it. So, oh, here's one on the other side. Same exact layout. That's how all of these stores are going to be. Uh -huh. um, let me I'll show the view. This side. So, that's your resident reserve parking lot. That should be, you should be getting emails about that right now. And, and that's Cleveland, right out yes. there. Yes. And this is right. just. Nice view of Fayetteville. Um, is the do you know if the 06 on this floor is Stadium View or uh, Cleveland View? Um, I think it's Cleveland View. Cleveland because I think it starts at the elevator with one. Okay. And it goes down. Great. So. Let's see. Let's see they have if you go to housing.uark.edu yeah. mm -hmm. and you click on campus communities and go to Reed Hall, it will give you the floor plan of each room and it will tell you. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're going to take one last request for a room because it just came in. That'll be our last one, okay? okay. So Madison asked to see 902. <gasps> Madison, we will yeah. love to show you 902. Okay. So I'll give you some tips uh -huh. about freshman year. Um, if you decide to do sorority recruitment, that's great. That's a really good way to get involved. Um, I did it, and I love it. It's also going to be nice for all of you who are in sorority recruitment. You're going to get some more time with your families. And it's so easy to get involved here on campus. Um, mm -hmm. I want to make sure I'm going the right way. Hold on. Yeah, you're good. Yes, okay, I'm going the right way. Um, definitely getting involved is super easy here on campus on the first week, which we call syllabus week. Mm -hmm. um, you can go and there's a bunch of booths set up and they'll tell you all the different clubs. Um, like I'm in the advertising club because that's for my major and I'm in the PRSSA because that's for my major and I'm in the Razorback Booster Club. I'm an officer. So, you know, it's so easy just to get involved. There's something called or org sync. Um, dot, I don't hog sync. Hog, hog yeah. sync, yeah. Um, and you can go on there and you can actually see all the lists of RSOs here on campus. Um, also, don't be lazy. Do your homework. It's not that hard. It's different because you don't have your mom and your dad constantly nagging on you, telling what you need to get done. So you're all on your own. Pace yourself. Try not to do it the night before. I'm still guilty of doing it, and I have accounting that's due tonight that I'm about to go do. And you know, just get it done so that way you don't have to worry about it the rest of the week. And 
you can go out and you can go do things, have fun with friends, um, explore Fayetteville. You know, there's so much opportunity around here. Get a job. I went to just first semester, but second semester is when I would suggest getting a job. Maybe as a housing intern. Who knows? Maybe as a housing intern. It's so much fun. Or work at a shoe store instead mm -hmm. of Fayetteville Mall. Um, so just do every little thing that you can. Make the best out of Fayetteville, Arkansas, because this is your new home for the next four years. We're excited that y'all are here, and it's a fantastic place to learn and to grow as a person and to get a degree at. So, yeah. But we have some more videos that are going to be coming up. We have a move-in prep video that will be coming up in August. And then we have a prep your tech that will be happening next week. So make sure to stay in tuned to those videos. And if this isn't your haul, then you can go to movein.ur.edu. And mm -hmm. I believe we're exploring the bait bowls tomorrow. So We are. Yeah. It will also be archived on our YouTube channel. Yes, um, yes well. And this is 902. Madison, this is for you. Yeah, Madison, this is all for you. And 902. Is just down the hall, so uh -huh. they ha will have the same view. Okay, yeah. so 906 will be yeah. serious. Enough. Yeah, so thank you very much for yeah. doing this. Thanks for coming stuff. along to Retoll. Yeah, do you have any yeah. parting thoughts? I'm just excited for you guys to move in and excited to meet all of you. So if you have any questions, feel free to scroll through back in this video for dimensions, or you can always send me an email. Okay, thank you very much, everybody. Yeah. See you this fall.